Hey guys, it's Phil. If you're jumping from this other video that will be linked right here if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's how to flash a factory image, because that's apparently a very useful tool to know how to do, especially if you have a uh, Nexus device like I do, or you might. So that video was how to flash a factory image, because I previously had a version 5.1.0, on here, version uh, LMY47i, and I needed to go to 47D to use an over-the-air update that I will show you in this video how to use on your phone, because not many people know how to use ADB, even if they know how to use fastboot. So, without any further ado like last time, let's get to it. So, so twice. Apparently we're a knitting club here. Anyway, <laughs> it's terrible. Anyway, this will show you how to use a, provided in the download links, down in the description. It will be the first link for the Nexus 4, though I will not show you how to do it with the Nexus 4. It's the same process, different file, and obviously a different device. Okay, first link will be Nexus 4 from Google+. Second one will be Nexus 5, and the third one will be the previous video if you are on mobile and that's useless to you. Pointing over here does nothing, it's gesturing to an invisible space. Okay, because sorry mobile users, I constantly forget you guys, even though I myself am a huge mobile user myself, for YouTube anyway. So, that third link is for you. You. Gotcha. Okay, what we're going to need to do is get into a mode where we can use ADB. ADB, which stands for Android Debugging Bridge, is, it's a useless acronym to know the meaning of unless you're a developer, and if you're not a developer, like me, or you, um, well, it's nice to know what it means to say, oh, I know what ADB means. Anyway, what we're going to do is use ADB to send from the computer using a USB cord, pardon the jiggle a little, using a USB cord to the phone and updating the software instead of waiting for the over-the-air update to Android 5.1.1, which is available for the Nexus 4, 5, and 9 LTE. As of right now, Nexus 6 might be coming soon. It's almost noon, so it, it's still young today. Okay, what we're going to need to do is get into bootloader mode. If you remember from the last video or know how to get into the bootloader, well, then go do it and skip ahead a couple seconds, minutes maybe, I don't know. If you're new and don't know what bootloader mode is or how to get there, you want to power your device off. Awkward silence achieved. Power the device off. It will take a varying amount of time depending on how many apps and services you have going and running on your device. Since I have a fresh install that I literally just skipped through the setup of because I'm going to wipe it anyway, um, it won't take long. Anyway, for the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 4, you will press volume down and power until you get to the bootloader. For other Nexus devices, it varies from volume down power, volume up power, and both and power, or any combination of them, you will need to Google it. I do not know them off the top of my head because I don't have them. But once you get into bootloader mode, you will want to use the volume keys, as it says with the arrows, to navigate to recovery mode and press power to select. This again will vary depending on the device. So how to, you'll just see this. You will be missing the menu here. So what you'll need to do for a Nexus 4 is press simultaneously volume down and power, just click them in and a menu will show up. For the Nexus 5, hold power and press volume down or volume up. It's volume up, power and volume up. And you get this very, very dimly lit menu. Okay, let's see if we can focus. Okay, what we're gonna do is First, since we're in recovery and it won't reboot out of that menu automatically, refocus manually, there we go. What we're going to do is in this folder that has your, ideally it will have your, pardon for moving, it will have your ADB and well, just a, your, honestly, your ADB and fast boot stuff from before. So what you're going to need to do is, zoom out a little, uh, shift, right click, Zoom in so you can see that. If you were in the last video, you know what this is. If you know what fast boot is, you know what this is. Open command window here. It will, as it says, open a command window here from this window, from this subdirectory. So you'll need to be in here to utilize the adb.exe file. Okay. On the phone, you'll use, okay, autofocus, don't fail me now. Autofocus, you failed me. Okay. What you're going to need to do 
Though, it may or may not decide to show up. Come on. There, ah, oh, forget it. You're going to need to scroll down to the second option, which is Apply Update from ADB. You will want to scroll down using the volume button, as it says in red, and then you will press Power, and it will take you to this. Now send the package you want to apply to the device with ADB sideload file name. It's a tutorial in and of itself. It's quick. So in the terminal, we're going to type ADB space sideload. Let's quickly rename this update over here to update and it keeps the extension update dot zip or dot zip so we're going to type adb space sideload space update dot zip enter and then it will be serving the update meaning manually sending the file from here to the device and it will be it will go through the process um it might send up multiple lines of stuff giving different percentages of progress but what it will essentially do is send the file from the computer to the phone it's in screen right there to the phone and then it will once it's sent it'll verify the version that you have on your phone because ota updates this one only works going from lmy 47 d d as in dog to the next version of android the someone else with the 47i version will get a different update and it will include less but it will do the same upgrade to 5.1.1 and have the same stuff in it so it will verify the system that you currently have and then apply all the system patches and everything and then it will automatically reboot this is the easiest progress you will probably ever or the process that you will ever do on a nexus next to buying it depending or selling it again depending so as you can see now send it'll be installing update verifying current system because it has to check that it's a compatible version and if it's not things will break and the update will fail removing unneeded files patching system files and currently let's zoom in and check that 80 83 percent yeah that's not bad so essentially that's it it's a it's the quickest video you'll probably get from me ever it's currently at 96 patching boot image writing bootloader it'll once it's sent it will update all these things just so you can see what's going on and once it's done here it will automatically reboot into your newly updated version of android 5.1.1 so from there and this will probably be quick let's set that down and wait for it to reboot there we go actually it will not automatically reboot you have to it'll send you back to the recovery menu come on focus please okay first option is reboot system now you want to click the power button in to select reboot system now you're done and it'll reboot into your new system you won't lose any data because it's just like applying an over-the-air update manually because that's exactly what it is if this helped let me know leave me a thumbs up let me zoom out just so I can get everything in that I want to do with hands. If I helped you out and you didn't know any of this, let me know down in the description. Ask me anything you need to know about this, if it'll work on such and such a phone. Because this, this ADB sideload method will work on any Nexus device that you are using with a compatible starting version and a compatible over-the-air file. So the links, as I said, in the description will be the first one for Nexus 4, the second one for Nexus 5, and the third one will be to the previous video, which was linked here, but will be linked down in the third one because uh, annotations can go away. And for mobile users, because I have you guys in mind now, because I've been watching a lot more YouTube on the go because of, because of cool school and classes. So if you don't know how to use fast boot or have always wanted to know how to manually flash all the things, very literally, then go ahead and check out the fourth link, or I think it was down here, the the video, I think it, it was up here. Check out the video linked up here, or in the fourth link down in the description for how to manually update or downgrade, if you're like me, to any version that has a factory image for your Nexus device. Uh, I guess until next time, I will see you guys later.